I'm pretty excited to do my two month update of my um, possum purple passion fruit vine. I can't believe how massive this thing has gotten two months after transplanting it. And this I just ordered offline. And I just, I can't believe how fast it's grown. I was worried about how hot it is down here because we are in zone 9A. Now my aunt is just an hour or so north of here and makes her in a little bit higher of a zone and they do great there. They're growing just out of control wild all over property. So I was hopeful they would do the same here and it wouldn't get too hot. And so far it's doing, I mean, look at it. It's gone all the way up here now. That is incredible. Just how far up it's going. Um, let me actually walk around and show it off. I mean, look at this. It's almost as tall as me. And it started off like six inches with just a couple of leaves. And now it's massive. Now the other one's the duck eight. And so I transplanted up against the duck coop. And on the duck coop update video, you can kind of see that. And I went and looked today and it's actually sprouting more leaves. So it is taking off and growing as well. Hopefully it'll do pretty well. These are pretty much an evergreen here in zone 9A. So we'll see if they truly are or how it does. They are hardy from what I've read. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. They are hardy up to zone 5. So, hey, we definitely have a chance for them to survive and just keep coming back all the time as long as we keep it watered well. There is, one, however, one little issue that I have. There is a butterfly that loves passion fruit, especially. So, um, from what I gather, different color passion fruits have di host different types of butterflies. And this one is, I think it's pronounced golf fritillary. It's a weird spelling, like F-R-I-T-A-L-L-A-R-Y or something like that. Don't, you know, I'm not 100% exactly. But here I noticed like the webbing you get when you get those caterpillars on your other vegetables. So I'm going to pull that off because I don't see anything. But I already know from experience that webbing is like uh, questionable there. Um, huh, my cat just scared me. Um, I have a kitten and a teenager really. And I was in here and heard like a crazy scratchy noise and he's just climbing up near the banana trees on the fence on the other side. Uh, he's so funny and playful, but thinking about how to heart attack. Um, so I look at this, this I've never, look, Woo, it just growing its little heart out. Isn't that pretty awesome? can't beat that. I mean, it's just done incredibly well. And, ooh, there's some eggs on it. Take those little white eggs off. No thank you, sir. But, oh, uh, wow. I mean, here's all the new growth and the tendrils that are kind of growing. It took over my light here, the pull for the light. I mean, part, right, this one has protection from when the ducks are in here and now the ducks are out there in that big 900 square foot area we built last weekend so this is kind of they killed my jasmine man but this is kind of taking over where the jasmine was you can see where the ducks have been building nests and plucking their feathers and doing all that fun stuff so yeah i mean i'm pretty ecstatic this is really cool how it's just these leaves are so massive. I had no idea passion fruit leaves got this big. And I I can ask for a better vine. I mean, all of it's just super thick already. These vines live for such a long time. So I can't wait to see how many seasons I get out of this. Now, the ultimate plan was for it to cover this entire fence line where um, that creates the duck coop. And if so, it's just going to be beautiful next year when it just completely covers everything and um, gives them lots of shade and gives us lots of fruit, which is really exciting. Now, all around this passion fruit vine, this is the area that I told you they just completely decimated and killed all the grass in. So I'm going to fix this fencing. It's just gotten old over there. And 
go ahead and we're bringing compost in and I'm going to plant all of this with some nice uh, cold hardy pea plants. Go ahead, give give back some nitrogen and produce a crop on all of this fencing right here since the ducks aren't in here. Get the ground nice and healthy, maybe plant some more passion fruit. Um, I really want some uh, Isaiah hardy kiwis or even some Anna hardy kiwis. So get some hardy kiwis. If you don't know, those are kiwis. They're green, a little smaller than store-bought kiwis, and they don't have fuzz on them. So I'm pretty excited about that because I'm not big on the fuzzy outside of kiwis. In pilling it is not always fun, you know. It's just cool to be able to pick one up and have it. So I would love to grow something different. And all of these um, being perennials is really cool. It really reduces stress on me. And once they're established, that's it. I just have to maintain them. And maintenance is so much easier than establishing. So... You can't beat that. If anyone else is thinking about kind of growing a passion fruit vine in zone 9A, turns out they do very, very well. I'm very pleased. I will be adding more of these to the list. And let me go really fast and kind of show you the other one over there, just so you can see the difference between having a little protection and not. So this is the other one I bought at the exact same time, but the ducks were eating it and I didn't even realize it. Kind of foolish on my part, thinking that they wouldn't eat it. Even though it was in a raised container, they're pretty, pretty smart. Um, it's been here three days. I know it looks really rough, but you have to understand, like, all of this, the ducks had eaten. And so, even with three days and having to water in daily to keep it from drying out, the soil's nice and moist. This is mushroom compost mixed in with the native soil. And look right here. Those are, that's new leaves forming, you know, all this new growth even down here coming up. So I'm hoping that this plant will not only recover, which it looks like it, but it'll actually bush out even more because it was cut back. The roots are very weak on this, so I'm glad that it's small because it really needs time to establish that strong root system, especially before next year's like brutal summer hits. So the idea is that this will grow up. This is a an eight foot post, but it's two feet in the ground. So it'll grow up this whole entire fence line and just completely take over. I also planted some bananas here that I took out of my other banana grove that's more established. And so I'm hoping that between the passion fruit and the banana plants, it'll just completely cover the ducks area, give a lot of protection um, hide it, just make it look pretty, and then, hey, if it gives some fruit for our family or the ducks to enjoy, I'm all for that, too. So, that's it on the passion fruit updates. I'm really excited. It's my first year to ever grow anything like this, and I just can't wait to get fruit. Honestly, until I saw passion fruit, I, I've heard of it a lot, but and it's pretty common in stores here, but I, I really didn't know what it was, you know? My family did, my kids did, I had no idea. So I actually had to look it up and say, okay, well this may work in my area. And I'm really excited to kind of show you guys how it's growing and really to see how it grows myself because honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it and so far it it is working out great.